All right, let's review some vocabulary for lines and angles. All right, so this is how it's going to go. You have a word bank at the top. And this is more like an interactive um, audio quiz type thing. You don't really need to write anything. Maybe if you have a dry erase board, you could write down your answer. Um, but if you just listen and play along, I'll pause enough for you to think. And then you can guess and make your choice. This is how it's going to go. So I'm going to read a definition. You use the word bank to figure out what word I'm talking about. And then I'll give you, you know, I'll count to ten. It'll be quiet. And then I will say the answer and write the answer below that green line. So, the first one is an angle whose measure is 180 degrees. You're thinking of which vocab word from the word bank I'm talking about. If you said straight angle, you are correct. That measures exactly 180 degrees, right? 180 degrees. Okay, next one. An exact location in space. An exact location in space. If you said point, you were correct. Exact location in space. Let's try another one. A straight path of points in a plane that continues without end in both directions with no endpoints. If you said line, you are correct. Continues in both directions with no endpoints. All right, let's try another one. An angle that measures, oops, where did that, there we go. An angle that measures greater than 90 degrees and less than 180. An angle that measures greater than 90 degrees and less than 180. If you said obtuse angle, you are correct. Greater than 90, less than 180. All right, how about another one? A part of a line that includes two points called endpoints and all the points in, be in between them. A part of a line that includes two points called endpoints and all the points between them. If you're thinking line segments, you are correct. A part of a line with two endpoints and all the points between them. All right, let's try another one. A part of a line. It has one endpoint and continues without end in one direction. A part of a line. It has one endpoint and continues without end in one direction. If you said ray, you are correct. 
part of a line has one endpoint and continues in one direction forever. All right, let's try another one. How about an angle that forms a square corner or 90 degrees exactly? If you were thinking right angle, you are correct. Exactly 90 degrees. It has that little square corner in there. Okay, let's try another one. A shaped <laughs> a shape formed by two line segments or rays that share the same endpoint. I'll try that again. A shape formed by two line segments or rays that share the same endpoint. If you said angle, you are correct, right? Either two rays form an angle or two line segments, right? Okay, let's try another one. An angle that measures, ooh, we don't have our nice little word bank there. There we go. An angle that measures greater than zero and less than 90 degrees. Greater than zero, but less than 90 degrees. If you were thinking acute angle, you are correct greater than 100 or greater than zero degrees, less than 90 degrees. Okay, I think that's all the vocab for lines and angles. Be on the lookout for two other review vocabulary quizzes online with these videos. There's gonna be one on triangles and lines and then also on quadrilaterals. All right, have a good night.